everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a cool pentatonic uh, blues lick and um, talk a little bit about how to use scales in a different context than what you're used to. Um, this example is actually from the solo for Power World Fantastic, which is the title track for my instrumental record. And uh, besides shameless self promotion, I'll use this song to get into a bit more detail uh, regarding the use of scales and how we can use them and also change the effect they have as long as we're aware of the harmonic connotations of our songs. So, the idea with this particular song was that it had to kind of represent the whole album. And the album, if you heard it, is uh, really straightforward rock music, but it has a lot of um, exotic and unusual and spacey kind of melodies. Um, so, I thought the spacey stuff was taken care of by the, by the melody of the verse and the chorus. Um, and I really wanted to have one section of the song that would bring people back to the, you know, for me at least, to the roots of this kind of music, which is really steeply based on in the blues and um, traditional rock. And so I thought, well, the scale is kind of clear. I really want to use a pentatonic scale, uh, the, the blues variation of it. Most people know this scale, and at the same time, I kind of wanted to give it a twist without actually changing the notes. And so this is what is really important. The more no the more scales you know, then the more tools you have, and the more uh, you know you can look into different directions to find the the effect you want to create. But even if you don't know that many, you can still progress to the next stage, which is to be aware of the context in which you use the scale. So the scale is only useful if you're aware of what the scale is relating to, which uh, specifically, usually, it's uh, is chords, chords and the bass line. So, um, this chord progression was actually very, very not blues-like. So it was, it was chromatic. It was like this, and it doesn't really fit with the blues scale. But um, you can actually be creative with it and and try to fit it in, and then it will kind of serve as a bridge between two different kinds of music or two different styles or two different expressions. All right, so today actually, if all goes well, you'll be watching this in high v in high quality. So you should have a button down there saying "watching high quality." You should definitely do that because we're gonna have some tabs that hopefully will show up up here. I haven't edited the video yet, obviously, so we'll see if it works out. Um, so hopefully now I'll play the first part and you will see the tab up here. All right. So the first part is based on uh, really classical. Uh, classic Hendrix, uh, Jeff Beck, you know, all those really old, uh, well not that old, but you know, um, really classic uh, rock and blues uh, records. So it's bends. Okay, so the first one is, uh, is a bend holding this note. Now, don't forget that if you're using a floating bridge, you will never be really in tune because as you pull the string up, the note on the one you're fingering will um, actually get lowered by the bridge. But anyway, it's cool anyway in this case because we're going for a dirty uh, rock feel, so it's perfect. Okay, so that's the first part. Okay, so I try to keep all the notes, the strings ringing, just to give it a bit more of a dirty uh, sound. You can get as clean as you want with it. And then the second part is actually just a basic uh, run on the scale. And then... Okay, so... Now, all together sounds like this. Okay, a bit faster. This is what it sounds like on tape. Now, this sounds a lot like, you know, old blues music, but if you hear it on top of the chord progression, then it takes a different slight feel. So I'm gonna play with the, with the first chords of the solo. All right, so you see how the same scale can serve different purposes. If you play the scale on top of a regular blues progression, then it will definitely sound bluesy. Um, so if you have to take something away from this lesson and this video, it should be that uh, whatever scale you know, whatever uh, your level of knowledge currently is, then you can still uh, find different ways to use your knowledge. And uh, just make sure that you understand what goes on underneath your melodies and your solos. And um, that's really the basis for all improvisation. But in this case, 
if you really focus on getting unusual sounds out of your scales, it will really open up many doors and your ear will really unlock and uh, you'll also be able to figure out what's in your head. So if you have a song in your head and you can't quite get it under your fingers, then this will help a lot. All right, so I think of something for next week. In the meantime, if you have any suggestions or any ideas, please send me an email. All right, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.